everyone! I had a new addition to my doll family. They arrived earlier this year. She is an SD size raccoon doll jean head. The shipping box arrived with what looks like a hole that was punched by someone in customs. But fortunately, it doesn't look like the main box was opened as none of the tape was broken. I ordered her in mid-November, and she arrived a few weeks into January. Raccoon Doll's main line are fashion-sized, or in the 45 to 50 centimeter range, but with mature adult bodies. I believe the sculptor at Raccoon Doll formerly worked at Ipple House, so that aesthetic naturally appealed to me. I did see that they announced they will be releasing an SD size line, which I think means they're creating an SD body so I'll definitely be checking in periodically. Though, I hope it doesn't mean that they will discontinue selling their heads separately. I wasn't around when Satoria J sold only heads, but they have released their own bodies and do not sell the parts independently anymore. I personally appreciate when companies have the option to buy heads and bodies separately, but I'm sure it complicates their workflow. Anyhow, I got Jean to hybrid with my Feeple 65 body, and the resin match is not bad, especially on camera. The Fairyland NS resin definitely has a stronger pink undertone, and the Raccoon Doll NS is more creamy with hints of yellow. The neck fit is solid, especially with the PLA donut that I printed. Fairyland's neck is slimmer at 9.5 centimeters than the neck hole of the head, but with the donut, it fits really nicely. The only gapping that is visible is if you look from the bottom of the chin looking up. I'll just be sure not to take any photos at that angle. So time to send her off for her face up. I was so grateful for Lomi of Lomi's Playground to accept doing her face up. This is the first time that I've commissioned a face up versus buying a company one, and I'm so excited. It turned out so pretty. I've linked to her video where you can see the face up being done. I got a good laugh that the eye was slightly dislodged on the return trip. It seems I didn't pack enough putty for them to stay put. Also recently, my order from Amadis Beauty arrived. I ordered these in September 2020 and they arrived in March of 2021, so they took just about six months for the pair. Their Etsy store has the stated time as three to four months, but just be aware it may take longer in case that factors into your buying decisions. Jean will be modeling as I open these to try on. These are my first non-synthetic wigs. The store has the material listed as Angora. I'm not knowledgeable enough on animal fibers to know if that's Angora goat or Angora rabbit or mohair or what other type of fiber that's available. So I just know that it's an animal fiber. The packaging is quite cute with heavy floral imagery. The wigs also have a sweet scent that they've been sprayed with that I can't quite place. It reminds me of a mix of berries. The hair nets are secured with a tiny pin. I ordered two wigs. The first one is called J-Rock Soul. 
I was drawn to the ombre effect then that it transitions from a brown to gold. Or at least that's what I thought. Upon closer inspection, there are purple elements in the wig that I was very pleasantly surprised by. It looked more chocolatey brown in the stock photos, but I love purple, so I'm super happy with its color. Definitely lucked out since I didn't look as close as I could have. The wig cap is a white mesh, and the wefts look to be attached with a waterproof glue. This means I can probably get them wet without fear of the glue dissolving. They are also roomy and could accommodate a slightly larger doll head, but they fit securely. I could not get over how soft the hair is, and I ended up stroking both wigs quite a bit throughout the try-on session. The second one is called Plisetsky, which after doing a quick search is a character from a show called Yuri on Ice, which I know absolutely nothing about. This is a custom color called Jet Black. The original is blonde, which mirrors the character in the show. I really just like that there was a hidden braid under the unassuming bob haircut. Overall, based on initial impressions, I'm happy with these purchases. I would definitely buy an in-stock wig if Amadis was to carry one that was in the style, size, and color that I wanted. As for getting another made-to-order one, I would consider it if there was something that really stood out, but six months is a commitment, and doll plans can easily change, so once my crew is more stable, I might order again. I ordered these two wigs with the intention of giving the ombre wig to Winry and the black bob to Saren. And this is before I even decided to order a raccoon doll jean head. So, I don't know just yet. There's probably going to be some musical wigs in the future. I've also grown quite accustomed to Winry and Saren and their old wigs, so I might take some time to acclimate. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you have a great week. Bye!